Even though defeated, Scorpion remained consumed by rage. He was a clear and present danger to all timelines. But I knew that it would take compassion, not combat, to calm his fury. Using the hourglass, I found a timeline that Scorpion could not. One which had an unattached Harumi. This Harumi is unlike any other. Having lost her Hanzo to that timeline's Quan Chi, it is she who has become Scorpion. Bonding over their shared grief, Hanzo and Harumi join forces to defeat evil in her timeline. It is not just Quan Chi who should fear these Scorpion's sting. Although they claim to be superior beings, Natara and her timeline's Viternians proved anything but. They foolishly underestimated the tenacity and skill of this timeline's warriors. And while we have lost many, they are sadly not this war's greatest victims. Those are the ones who were enslaved by a pestiferous Viternian bite, and who, unless aided, will be condemned to languish in an excruciating eternal twilight. To help them, I travel to a timeline where Viternians work for good, not ill. They graciously share their unique expertise, undoing the dark magic that had befallen my champions. Now, their souls and their lives have been restored. Their safe return is indeed a blessing. Even in defeat, this dark Sub-Zero proved most intransigent. Given the chance to surrender, he refused to concede. Forcing my allies to finish him. Robbed of their Grandmaster's cunning and tactical genius, Sub-Zero's Cryomancers quickly fell to pieces. The rout that followed was utterly complete. It will take decades to repair this Cold War's devastation. But as the ice thaws and a new spring begins, I find myself hopeful. Once again, my champions have risen to this timeline's defense. And once again, they have emerged victorious. After a bloody, costly battle, the hybrid army was smashed. Its remnants quickly retreated to its timeline of origin. Though the battle was won, the war was not over. The fleeing hybrids were pursued back to their flesh pits. Trapped there, they were obliterated. But even that victory was not total. Some escaped and they are determined to reconstitute their numbers. Now a squadron travels from timeline to timeline, seeking out these final pockets of resistance. It must find and destroy all of the remaining hybrids. For if even one of these Molinas survives, the realms remain in peril. The Thunder God's attempt to fuse Jinseis had drawn the attention of Raidens from other timelines. Banding together, they broke his connection with them and purged from him the dark power which had driven him to madness. His senses returned. Raiden quickly realized his grave mistake, how he had nearly destroyed all timelines 
in a universal Armageddon. He set to work with his counterparts to heal the damage that had been wrought. Though I wish to trust this newly reformed Raiden, I fear I cannot. His dark urges pose too great a threat. Thus, I have banished him to the Void, the vast expanse of nothingness which exists between realms. He will not return until he convinces me that he is no danger to our safety. As a rule, I do not relish taking lives, but this case is an exception. The suffering sighs off and is the Terran's cause, the death he dealt so indiscriminately. He had done nothing to earn my mercy, and everything to reap my wrath. Though their Emperor was dead, Sizoth's hidden minions continued the fight. It took months to unmask them all and to end their malicious meddling. The realm secured, my attention turned to the timeline from which these Terrans hailed. I went there, prepared for war. But when I arrived, I found that the Terrans had named a new leader, one who, like I, was genuinely committed to peace. We resolved our differences and reached agreement on reparations. I am hopeful that hostilities have been permanently ceased. When Shang Tsung arrived in his timeline to consume its souls, he expected little resistance. But my warriors were more than ready. They turned back his onslaught, and in doing so, saved billions of lives. Shang Tsung tried to retreat, but Giris prevented him from returning home. Trapped in our timeline, he led us on a chase across the realms. Eventually, we cornered him in the ruins of Saido's capital. Cut off from any source of souls and unable to feed, Shang Tsung began aging at an accelerated rate. It being beyond my power to save him, I could only watch as he was reduced to dust. constructs were defeated, the threat they posed remained. They were deadly, resilient adversaries who would not willingly disavow their ways. For the protection of the timelines, I needed to cure my counterpart's madness. The task ahead was enormous. It required that I call upon, once again, the allies who helped seal Titan Shang Tsung's defeat. We joined our magic together, casting a spell of unprecedented power. Still, it took much toil to break down Lu Kang's insanity. He and his constructs have now returned home. Though I am relieved we salvaged his mind, I mourned those lost before we could.